The Federal Reserve hiked interest rates to tackle inflation, fueling fears of an impending recession. But could the auto industry be another indicator? It has been in the past. Take a look at this chart right here. You can see auto production often drops before an economic downturn, which is shaded in gray. There has been some auto job cuts or layoffs in recent months. Stellantis is confirming there will be an indefinite layoff at the Sterling Stamping Plant beginning next week. 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell taking an in-depth look at where the industry stands right now. Let me put it this way. We have been on this ride before. We don't need to request a test drive. We know when the economy takes a hit, when the Federal Reserve raises interest rates to decrease demand, some people will delay buying a new vehicle, and that's going to impact the Motor City. We're taking an in-depth look at what could happen. At Avis Ford on Telegraph and Southfield, retired Detroit Lions offensive line Larry Lee tackled the task of buying a new vehicle for his wife. It's something they normally would have done more than two years ago. It just worked out where her lease ended at the beginning of COVID. So we said we don't need two vehicles because we're not going anywhere. Now they both want to go somewhere. It's a little too, uh, little too active for one vehicle now. Lee's story is an example of the pandemic's pent up demand and part of why Avis VP Edmund Douglas is struggling to keep inventory. He has 70 vehicles in stock. He used to average 500. The other reason? The pandemic caused supply chain issues and a shortage of semiconductor chips, which are often made in China. I think the F-150 has like 1,200 chips in it or something like that. Yeah. The result? While overall prices for things increased 8.6%, between May 2021 and May 2022, new vehicles increased in price by 12.6%. Used vehicles are up 16.1%. Now, as the Federal Reserve raises interest rates, car loans will get more expensive. Douglas says they're about twice what they were a year ago, close to 6%. You factor that in with interest rates. I mean, you could see probably payments as much as $100 more than what they were probably a year ago. There was certainly an old rule that when the nation caught a cold, Michigan got the flu. But Sandy Barua is Detroit Regional Chamber CEO and on the Federal Reserve Bank of Chicago's Detroit Branch Board of Directors. He says the auto industry and Michigan may actually be positioned to outperform relative to the past if we do have an economic downturn as the Federal Reserve tries to decrease demand and inflation with higher interest rates. We have diversified out of the auto industry, and the auto industry is targeting a high-end customer relatively less impacted by inflation if, that's a big if, the job market stays strong. Should we be concerned about the auto industry because they're making all of these capital expenditures as they invest in electric vehicles? Are they going to be kind of stuck if we do have a downturn? They are you know, really uh, focusing their production today on high profit, high value vehicles. You look at, you know, you know, GM trucks or the Ford Bronco, you know, Jeep Grand Cherokees. It probably isn't quite the same as it has been in the past. Daniel Hirsch is a managing director at Alex Partners and co-leader of its automotive and industrials practice. He says automakers are operating somewhat lean because they don't have parts they need to make cars. Where you'll start to see, you know, the first signs is of trouble is where people really start canceling those long term orders. There is going to be a point, I believe, where the customers are going to start to say, hey, I can't do it right now. Douglas says at Avis, they're operating their business conservatively to prepare for a downturn. A long waiting list on the Bronco. But right now, there continues to be high demand from customers like Lee and his wife. She likes the Bronco and uh, so uh, she's willing to wait. You know, uh, I don't know if I'm willing to wait. It's important to keep this all in perspective. Insiders are charged up and optimistic about the industry in the long run, even if they have some uncertainty in the short run. In Southfield, Kim Russell, 7 Action News. All right, thank you much, Kim. Now, for a closer look at how Michigan and the auto industry are faring, go to WXYZ.com and look for Kim's story.